Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. I am Trixie with Picatrix. Welcome to the channel, whether you're new or returning. Thank you as always for commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to Aquarius, go ahead and hit that button down below. Um, if you are returning, thank you for your patience. This summer I've had some personal issues that I've been dealing with. I am going to be getting... Oh, I'm breaking you guys are welcome for your messages. Um, <clears throat> a monthly September 2023 reading going. I am going to be focusing on monthly energy moving forward and shedding the moon cycle energies for a little while. Um, ooh, okay. Um, there's a secret or um, some strategy that you're going to be dealing with in the month of September, uh, Aquarius. I am going to be pulling a card for each week here. Aquarius with the Rider Waite Tarot. Make sure that you're checking out all of your big four. And then I'm going to clarify each of those cards with three more, like a past, present, and future. Um, okay. Ooh, wow. Okay. First week out here, Aquarius, the Three of Wands. So you know some sort of resources showing up for you, something you've been waiting diligently for. Um, it's not quite here in the first week of the month. Uh, it's showing up soon, though. I will tell you that. This is something that um, you've waited a really long time for. You've worked really hard for. Uh, you've put in the energy. It's very protected by um, your angels, your ancestors, the divine. You know this is coming. You might even get like a letter in the mail. This would be like where um, a high school student gets their acceptance letter for college. It's that kind of energy. Okay, I'm um, not quite celebrating yet, but you do know it's there. Okay, we did have several cards fall out. I don't need this many, but we're going to take the hangman for the second week of the month. I'm going to put back the rest. Um, yeah, on pause, you're waiting for something. You're in a state of really figuring out how to be the emperor, emperor of your own empire, uh, really working with the number four. So three to four, that's great energy. Even though even though the hangman is 12 and that is a number three, um, the way that he gets to the four, the number four, which his legs are in the shape of a number four is by thinking. He's allowing his crown chakra to have downloads. You may start <clears throat> uh, communicating, journaling, typing, writing in some way, shape or form or meditating uh, getting into a creative endeavor that lets you check out and just check in with yourself in the second week of the month here, Aquarius. It's the third week of the month here. You might need to go get a massage in the second week of the month. We know you all like to have some self-love. Wow, the Empress there. So 333, three, three. wow. Okay, I'm going to write that down. 333, three, three, Aquarius, you are divinely protected throughout this month. Fourth week of the month is the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past is going to show up in the fourth week of the month. Yeah, you have a lot of celebrations here. Um, you may receive a gift in the fourth week of the month. It's like what you're waiting on here at the beginning of the month actually shows up in the end of the month. Um, some of you are really in a space of waiting to birth an idea in the third week of the month. Um, that birth is really being shown to you in the second week of the month. You're going to contemplate how you're going to deal with it, how you're going to bring it forward, what it is that you want to grow, how you want to grow it. Um, and an unexpected messenger shows up on the fourth week of the month that really helps you clarify how you're going to create. The color yellow is going to be really important for you throughout the month of September here, Aquarius. Let's see. First week of the month, justice in reverse. Yeah, you're waiting on something and it doesn't show up in the first week of the month. And I do see where that's a little bit of a disappointment for you, but it's going to show up by Libra season, which I think Libra season starts on the 22nd of this year. It might be the 23rd. Um, Libra season starts, kind of shifts. Sometimes this 22nd is Virgo and sometimes it's Libra. Um, if you're dealing with a Virgo or a Libra, I feel like <clears throat> in the first week of the month, there's like a very clear no involving a Virgo or a Libra. Um, and that's actually what's holding your resources back is that you need to experience this no or this letdown. Something isn't going your in your favor in the first week of the month, and that's what pivots you to this hangman energy in the second week of the month so that you can sit with yourself and your guides, your ancestors, um, the divine, and really figure out how to get the yes in the third week of the month. A lot of people are getting a yes in the third week of the month. 
Eight of Cups came out for the first week of the month. So yeah, Justice, Eight of Cups, you know that you have spent a lot of time. And I said that when the Three of Wands came out, you spent a lot of time in some area of your life building working towards and now you're like i have literally acquired i've climbed every every rain on the ladder i can't go any higher here um it's time for me to move on and walk down the new path i have to let go of all that i've worked on because this resource that you want to show up it's like you're it's almost like being in the right mind space aquarius but surrounded by the wrong people there's like a table that you're sitting at or a place that you're going to or investing in that you've outgrown. Um, this is like where somebody works at a company that they've just climbed all the different promotions and there's no more promotion to go except be like the owner. And the owner's not gonna give you their job. They're not just gonna like hand you the, king, the keys to their castle. So it's something like that here, Aquarius, in the first week of the month where you know it's time to move on from something. Um, it is going to be quite the climb for you to move on, but you know, along the new path, you will meet the right people, places, and things for you. I feel like you're getting denied like a new promotion. You're getting denied, like maybe you've been dating somebody Aquarius and you and this person like want different things. This is like where somebody wants kids and somebody doesn't. You can't go forward in a relationship like that because the person that wants kids is never going to get kids. I actually know uh, from my past, an Aquarius who really wanted kids and their partner really didn't want kids and they wound up having kids and it was very obvious that that was a huge discord in their relationship. They couldn't get on the same path. And um, so there's something here. It's like, don't make that kind of mistake, Aquarius. Whatever you are already seeing in the first week of the month, it's like you're blocking yourself with this three of wands from receiving some energy that is divinely for you. But it's because of something that you've outgrown that you need to finally say no to and let go of. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. Step out of your comfort zone, Aquarius, in the first week of the month. That's all I'm going to say to you. Um, there's a giant thing that you are, you're like in a comfort zone. And when you finally admit to yourself, I'm in a comfort zone, I need to move on from this, I need to make a change, um, <clears throat> that's when, <clears throat> yeah, you have a conversation in the first week of the month that you're going to have. And I feel like you're an Aquarius, you already know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, so anyways, let's see, second week of the month, hangman here for my Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Make sure you're checking out all big four here, Aquarius, to get a total picture. Two of swords, yeah, making a decision in the second week of the month. Um, I feel like you're addressing to yourself that you have a comfort zone in the first week of the month. And by the second week of the month, yeah, then the emperor's on the bottom of the deck. You're really like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have this chat. I'm gonna make this, <clears throat> this, and, and then it's like sitting down with yourself in the second week of the month, writing, typing, maybe you text yourself. It doesn't really matter. If you're a writer, use pencil, not pen. Um, and I feel like you are trying to like almost strategize. It's almost seven of swords energy where you're like with yourself, you're, you could be working on something like you could be a coder or a painter, or maybe you work with fiber arts or you uh, design music. Something here involving like your throat chakra, um, numbers, letters that you are going to work on in the second week of the month. And that creativity will give you and inspire you with the tools and resources that you need to do something and address something, have some sort of conversation. Um, there's a really blank slate for you in the second week of the month that's going to be revealed to you unexpectedly. And it will lead to your own empire. Oh my God, Seven of Swords came out. Yeah, you're strategizing in the second week of the month. So um, not super in your head because you do have a two and a seven here where like the nine of, that's Nine of Swords, but it's not an actual Nine of Swords where you're worried or this is happening at night. This is happening during creativity where like the downloads are naturally coming in because you're refocusing your energy. That's the law of attraction at its finest. Aquarius, if you have never tapped into um, Jerry and Esther Hicks and the teachings of Abraham, you may want to, as you're creating in the second week of the month, you're working on something that's very personal. Listen to like YouTube videos or audiobooks from the library on Hoopla or Libby that um, are are based in Jerry Hicks and Abra um, Esther Hicks, the teachings of Abraham. The, those energies with the law of attraction may really help you in the second week of the month, okay? Um, <clears throat> You're kind of tiptoeing around something uh, in the second week of the month. And I almost feel like there's a person that you're tiptoeing around. 
and you're trying to figure out how to let this person down easy. Yeah, strength. You're building your inner strength. You're, um, here's the thing, Aquarius. Um, and I'm an Aquarius first house. I don't have any planets in, in, um, in that house. But Aquariuses can tend when they're out of balance to have a little bit of a temper. Um, they can at times when, when, when an air sign in general is out of balance, they may say things that are off the cuff that are not necessarily within their, their, uh, their norm. Um, and then people are like, why did they just do that? Why did they just say that? It's because you're out of balance. There's something that's like internally causing you pain and suffering. And I see that in the second week of the month. You need to spend a lot of time. There's, there's a lot of yellow on this seven of swords and the strength card, which are both in reverse. So you need to spend a lot of time by yourself working with that inner demon and this two of swords so that you can make the decision to say what you have to say, do what you need to do, and do it from a place of love in the third week of the month. The empress is the divine mother, the divine wife, the divine sister and auntie and grandma. She creates all by herself before she ever meets an emperor. She has abundance at her beck and call. She has wheat at her feet. She has um, her feminine, uh, what is that called? Shield. You know, she's she's dressed in a gown that she created with her own fingers. Behind her is a field of trees that she grew with her own uh, her own body. She built her empire on the side of a stream because she knew that whatever she built needed the nourishment of water to grow. There's something here that you are going to really address and be like, I have to go out on my own and do this in the third week of the month. And the second week of the month, you really dancing with an inner demon and an inner self-consciousness or something that you need to get control of because the strength card is about us taming the lion within. There's something here, Leo, or excuse me, you may be dealing with a Leo. Um, <clears throat> there's something here. <coughs> Aquarius and Leo is your opposite energy that feels very unnatural. 1212 was on the board. So there's a divine counterpart that I feel like you could meet in the third week of the month, but there is a blockage in the half, the first half of the month that you have to deal with for that divine counterpart to pop in. You're going to build something all by yourself. And it goes back to the first week of the month where it's like, in like in a career setting, you've received all the promotions that you can and now it's time for you to own your own business. Like you, you've gotten all the downloads, you've done all that you can, you've learned all you can from some sort of company or relationship. And then the third week of the month, you're ready. Like you've, you've, um, you've strategized in the second week of the month with that seven of swords to figure out how to, um, do it on your own. Let's get some more cards here. Yeah, ten, uh, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, you feel like this isn't going in your favor. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Aquarius. I, I do feel like emotionally you're going to feel very heavy. You're going to feel disappointed. It's going to be a struggle that um, you have to like balance out yourself before you can move forward in life. I feel like you kind of have to let somebody or something down easy. I knew an Aquarius that spent like th like four or five years at a company. In the last two years they were there, they were actually putting back money so that they could, um, for like two years, support themselves and, and focus on a business without having to worry about money coming in. That could be something like that, um, <clears throat> where you're ready to focus on your business, but you don't quite have the finances to like put in your two weeks notice. And in the fourth week of the month, somebody's going to help you. But anyways, let's keep going with this third week of the month. I feel like you've invested in some sort of relationship, person, place, company. Um, and you really thought this was going to be your legacy, but you kind of got comfortable there. Yeah, the devil in reverse. It's going to be instant gratification when you address this. Um, you feel like going into something in the third week of the month that it's not going in your favor, but it actually is going to. It's going to feel very relieving. Um, I've known several people this year, Aquarius, that have actually lost people that were very dear to them. Uh, they were very sick people and unexpectedly they got sick and they passed away and their family members actually had a great relief with the loss 
um, because in it, once the loss happened, they were like, oh my gosh, this person's no longer in pain. And that's not, I'm not saying somebody's going to die, but it's going to be like that, where it's almost controversial that you feel relief, that you feel gratification out of saying no or saying goodbye to something. Um, like you're, you're going to have a little bit of internal conflict because the seven of swords is here and the two of swords as well as the strength. And they're all in reverse. It's like you have a little bit of internal conflict with letting someone or something down easy. But you're an Aquarius. If you're balanced in your in your in your mind in your heart, you are at the end of the air element, and so you will have the right words to say. If you spent the right amount of time with yourself here, Aquarius, you will know exactly what to say and how to say it. Yeah. Um, if you stay in some sort of comfort zone with the Six of Swords in reverse, things are going to stay choppy. They're going to stay uncomfortable. And I feel like you are really needing to get in a state throughout the month of September to figure out how to how to say something to someone to let them down easy or how to put in the resignation letter in the month of October so that your company isn't just completely distraught with you leaving. It's like that kind of level. Or if you're in a relationship, this person thought you were the one and you're like, I don't think we're on the same page. I dated an Aquarius. I really thought we were on the same page and this person came to me and said, don't you want your partner to be your best friend? Cause I don't feel like we're best friends. I don't feel like we want the same thing in our future. And the way this person presented me in the time, I, I was being let down easy. Um, but I, I, I didn't understand that. I wasn't on the same page with this person. And I feel like you aren't on the same page with somebody and you're like struggling with that. Six of Cups, yeah, and judgment for the fourth, fourth week of the month. Somebody from your past is really going to come in back into your life. And they're going to break you free of this. They're going to, you're going to have a really great conversation with somebody. Oh yeah, six of pentacles. Um, you're going to receive exactly what you need in the fourth week of the month to balance out the situation and to feel very secure in what it is that you address uh, moving forward. So there is something that you're going to be working on behind closed doors. It's very personal to you that no one but you knows about. And, um, and it's preparing you for the month of October is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, the fool, you're ready for this, okay? I'm gonna leave it there because that's some great energy to end on. Five of Cups uh, in reverse. You're gonna focus on what it is that you do have. You're gonna be grateful for your ability to get balanced, to address the situation from a very mature place, to know what you have to say and how to say it. Um, and it's gonna be beautiful energy. I think this is a great month for you because you're really getting balanced. You're getting confident and sure in what, what it is that you desire. Um, and make sure that you're checking out all of your big four and I will get it to you next month. Thank you as always for tuning in.